All right, everyone. Today's episode is brought to you by Mogwai CBD, leaders in organic CBD. All my listeners can now get 10% off all CBD products at www.mogwai-cbd.com. That's M-O-G-W-A-I-C-B-D.com. Alternatively, you can go across to the Instagram page, Mogwai underscore CBD, and just follow the link there to the website, now, if you use discount code now then ten, that's N O W T H E N one zero. Now then ten, you can get ten percent off all products there. Now let's get to the pod. You still getting on stage and singing and Ricky Iglesias in Incredibles costumes, lad? <laughs> <laughs> you actually researched me. <laughs> I, I love that. Fucking cool, isn't it? I love it. Do you know? Do you know what's so funny? I, I just want to touch on the singing thing. It's um. I think we spoke about it before. I can't remember. Yeah, briefly. I've had um, I had three, I've had three vocal surgeries to remove the uh, precancerous growths on my throat. Oh, really? Once there was one. The first time there was one. Second there was two, and the third time there was three. But by the time I took them out, there was five. Shit. And I, used to, I did used to smoke years ago on and off, and um, and I loved singing so much. And it, I, I'm more of like a, I'm more of like a studio rat. I love, I love yeah, singing, yeah. songwriting, layers, and yeah. Stay. I get. Believe it or not, I got bad stage fright. Really? Terrible stage fright. Like, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't? Um, I think it's because I'm a perfectionist. I get, I get up there yeah. and I go, oh, shit. And then I'm like, I have to look at one spot. Or, <laughs> but I can do it if I close my eyes. And then people go, people go, oh, it looks like you really feel it. And other people go, oh, you, you know, you're not engaging with your eyes. And I'm like, I'm fucking trying not to shit. You've got to do what's fucking comfortable for you. So, so I had them three surgeries. And then, and like now, they haven't came back and it sounds, but... Um, it's sort of got a. I, I'm finding it harder to retrain and get myself back. I've done little bits here and there, and yeah. I put a little thing up last week, and it was, it was, um, it was about my dad and stuff, and and I was, it was like I done it out of emotion. I looked, I listened back to it, and I was like, I hate that, and it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it's, it's I, technically about on paper I shouldn't be able to sing. So, but I when, be able but when to you're there yourself anyway, you, you, you hate know, it, don't you? Now, but back to back to the. Um, I, I will go around the world a few times, darling, <laughs> darling. <laughs> I will go around. But um, yeah, it's. I can't believe you found that. Clip <laughs> I know it's too funny. You're too funny. Well, when I started in ink. Someone went, Mister Ink, credible, and I was like. <laughs> oh my god, why stick. didn't I roll with that then? You got a poster on your wall, Mr. Mr. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> no, I mean if it's about if it's about a party like this now, it probably wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have over to catch on. You would have been in your fucking ball, <laughs> <you're allowed. laughs> Yeah. No, I haven't sang in Rike in a Miss Incredible costume. No, 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 no. How's your day been? <laughs> it's been long. Has it? Why? Um I've I've been I've I've still been in work. I work in Ink Bar in Geek. Yeah. Obviously I know you knew that, but yeah. um been there for five years. It's it's like my home. Um but like a big massive family. But and we also we've got fifty four as well. If you have done if yeah, you've yeah, been yeah. there, it's a monster of a club. But we've been I've been working on ink stuff, but I've also been working on a new venture. Um I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram, it's called Zen Liverpool. Yeah, I've seen about it. Oh, like I'm, I'm, I asked the question, I was like, can I mention it? And they were like, yeah, 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 but just don't give anything away. And I'm, I'm <laughs> dying to. So if that's on that part, if any questions <laughs> pop up, I'll have to plead the fifth. But <laughs> yeah, I'll all I'll tell you, all I'll, <laughs> yeah, you, fuck off you. No, all I'll tell you about that place is that it's, it's an absolute game changer. I've heard Multiple about floors. Um, yeah. Uh, see, uh, right, don't talk. Talk. Where is it? That's all. Uh, you can't even say that. No, ah. no. I've been sworn to secrecy. However, um, it's it's on the same level as somewhere in Vegas and somewhere else in the the Galaxy of Ibiza. K three. That was my home. That for a bit. Listen, no, there's, been, there's been some fucking long term relationships <laughs> formed in the crazy old space. I, 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 people wouldn't even think to look. At, I used to love the pleasure rooms. Uh-huh. Like the, the walls used to sweat. <laughs> used to, I, used to, I remember touching the wall once. Right. Slipped down the. You could down the stairs. Catch malaria in the pleasure rooms, mate. It's nasty. <laughs> uh, oh, but no. yeah, so um, it's it's going to be an absolute game changer so just keep your eye out for it it's, it's, it's not like that not, not like that in this country i've yeah. seen yeah Sam, look forward to it then i've seen a couple of little snippets here and there on social media some people talking about it slightly and it, it gets you excited like it does cool. but yeah it's been it's been a long day i've been working on like uh, um ink stuff and just little bits of pieces before when we, before we reopen and i'm um, very invested in the brand and yeah um the owners and the team we're like a big family so it's so it's nice but it's, it's been it's just been a long tiring day but how's your day been it's been average <laughs> that's about it so anyway what i want to talk about craig i've you know i've looked through your social media and stuff and that's right and uh i've gone back quite far and i've seen change in oh. yourself 
So you put a post up the other day. I think it was the other day when I was talking about it was two pictures, one from now, one from a few years ago mm. when your face was a little bit rounder. And, uh, a little bit. <laughs> Made it look like I sat in the fridge for 10 years. It was like that huge. kid from fucking Charlie in the chocolate factory. <laughs> and, and, yeah, smoke, yeah, yeah, and it's up. not called the chocolate factory anymore because it's all the chocolate. That's what it was saying. So on the post you've said, you know, uh, yeah, your three, was it three years into your five-year plan? Yeah, I'm three years into it now. Yeah. So what is this five-year plan? To, well, it's obviously it's, it started, it started as just, you know, I want to get fit and cause I did, I used to train in KBABC years ago. Okay. Um, and that was probably the fittest I ever was back then. Oh. Um, was there for just under two years, I think. And they, they were all great lads. And just, I used to just do the chain with them. We did yeah. all the, I go and watch them box. We go the night out. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I just let things slide. Me, yeah. my dad got sick and I just didn't care. I was, I was drinking this heavily yeah about four bottles a night and just eating indians and i just yeah. i didn't give a shit and then one day i looked in the mirror and i was like what the fuck is that you can swear repeatedly you on here yeah. yeah good 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 Schwack, cunt, so, funny, <laughs> assholes. there you go so um I, I just looked in the mirror one day and went this this is this is not it like i, I think i was 30 and um I was 30 and I thought, if I don't sort myself out now, I'm fucked. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? I'm there now. Yeah. <laughs> I've like four and a half stone on in lockdown. Have you really? I can't even see my little fella anymore. Me and Dan Kelly's in the way. It's I've just, just seen him. He came in before. I'm so happy <laughs> for him. I just had me off no. there. I fucking fell right into that one, didn't I? I oh, see. I've got more, I've got more sass than I've got red wine. The wine courage. But um, anyway, so yeah, I, 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 so, so I designed this, I've got this plan in me. I don't know, I was like, well, within a year, I'm going to try and get my body fat down to at least 20% or 15%. The 15 was pushing it. Yeah. I actually got it to like 17 within the year. Shit. So it wasn't too bad. Um, so that was, that, that was the first. So I've done the five, I was a five year plan. Yeah. We always say you do it by sections. So yeah. I've done it year by year, but then the last 18 months, maybe mm-hmm. I've done it. I went to you know, for the next two years. This is what I'm going to look yeah. like. And there was a picture of this model. I didn't, I didn't even know the model's name. I found it on Instagram and I was like, that's what I want to look like. That's what I want to look like. Um, yeah. So it's sort of, I want to sort of have 8%, 10, 8 to 10% body fat. That's I'm, hard, bad, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm 12, 11, 12 now, but percent body fat. So oh, I'm not doing too bad, but, not far. um, so what, I, what you do to get to there then? What's your sort of fucking day to day, your diet, your, yeah, your regime? Well, the, 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 I done the diet the wrong way around, to be honest with you. I wish I'd have listened. And you know, it's always that thing. Yeah. Fucking, um, what's, what's it? What did I say? Um, what's that saying? Um, I don't know. In hindsight. Oh, I, yeah, I, hate, sorry, I, always, I always hate hindsight because <laughs> yeah. it's just like someone saying, you've, you know, you should have listened to it. No, yeah. I told you so. Off the head. <laughs> exactly. Like. Yeah. So um, if they say, don't cook carbs or don't do this, don't do that. And I just don't the opposite cut carbs out and the worst thing you can but do you learn you learn from your mistakes don't you we've all no. done it like I was talking on last week's episode I had Kev Poole on the personal trainer love him and uh, love I was him. talking about my diet and I, I did this heart transplant diet once where I lived on tuna and Jacob's crackers for like <laughs> two weeks that's all a fucking it. it was it was horrendous is that what it's called the heart transplant it's for people who've had like heart transplants I found it on Google anyway fucking I done one of them it was you insane it was like, you, do, you do it you lose a stone in a week and yeah. it's for bypass surgery or something like that <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, I think it's uh, what's his name doctor something anyway but yeah I um, so I done it all wrong at first and I did I did lose about two stone and then it slowly started coming back on so um, I finally listened to the original advice I got on t- you know, when you're cutting at least 20% of your meal, just put good carbs in. Yeah. Um, and even then I was, I, I went from white rice to brown and there's not much difference. I'm going to, I'm going to shatter everyone's dreams there. There's not much <laughs> different really. But, um, then I've not, what I've done now is I've actually, I don't even have any processed carbs. I have just have potatoes. Oh, okay. Or, um, oats as much as I can. Yeah. You know I mean, I'll have a day off. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, my diet was that 20% carbs. The rest was, um, protein either prawns or chicken okay. and um and veg and then i was just absolutely smashing the gym and that was another thing cardio i was smashing the cardio and cardio doesn't even do that much for you no. you best just do weight training isn't it? you best just doing weights to to i got told to, to shift to shift weight and tone up use low weights but do high intensity yeah. interval training yeah so when i I done that first. I think it was a couple of months. For yeah, yeah. I um, I listened to that and I I was just training probably three or four times a week, and then the more it, it was honestly like an addiction. 
it was worse than ciggies, smoking ciggies, because the more it the you. more I wanted it, and the better I looked, and because obviously the the age, me, me body age was going up, but yeah, everything, everything else looked like it was going backwards. <laughs> so it was I was looking after myself, so it was it was perfect. So it was it was sort of a little bit like crack, and, um, <laughs> a bit like crack. Did you say that? <laughs> yeah. You know that that's a sense listen. There's no fucking crackers that look as good as that. You know what I mean? But you know what I don't fucking knock crack. I was saying this the other day. Have you seen? No, have you seen a smackhead? Or a homeless person with fucking COVID. No, I thought these would all be dead by the time. No, they're all still fucking up. flying up by the garage. Heroin's the cure. I'm not even messing. Don't get the vaccine. Just take some fucking heroin. You're flying. I, honestly, I see them all the time. And they go, oh, mate, have you got any change? And I go, I was going to ask you, mate, I'm fucking skint, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, 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 but anyway, I thought, I thought they wouldn't name. Um... <laughs> I didn't think they'd still be around after the first lockdown. The fucking and I came out and immune. There's, there's this one called Dennis and he was still he was still going and I was like, he was always outside. <laughs> and um, he was there and I was like, how is he still here? The fucking mad, yeah. But you know what? I, I've seen a video the other day and it was like this schmackhead in America who just comes up to you at the light and starts washing your windows right in the car and then demands money off you. And the fella goes, I've got no cash. And he just pulled out a card reader out of his pocket. And he was like, Shut I'd up. say like card. <laughs> That's hysterical. A little baggage on fucking card readers, mate. Over the fucking bonnet of them. See, I see the first thing I go is where did where did you charge it? Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, you've got where's your fucking bank account, you little dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying, you're working in ink for like five years and stuff, and you've got other projects. I imagine that's hard, sort of sticking to a, a firm diet and stuff, working in the nightlife industry and stuff. Because mm. a lot of people say, you know, eat like small meals regularly and stuff. How, how does that work when you're working on mad hours? Well, that's I. Well, I used to be like quite strict with me food, but now because I'm always on, I'm either always on the go in ink or I'm doing this or that yeah. or the other. I, I don't really, I don't count. I don't, don't get on the scales anymore. No, I don't, cal- I don't calorie count. Um, to an, ex- to an extent, I do. I like, I'll try and I'll rough, I'll roughen it round. Like, yeah. I'm on like nearly three thousand calories at the minute. My body seems to be soaking them up. So it's because I'm chaining that much. Well, I was until yeah. Until what's happened yeah. <laughs> the other day, but anyway, um, yeah, it's 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 a balance. It's also it's always it's it's always been a bit of a if if I if I'll have too much one day when I finish from work, and even no matter how tired I am after think I'll yeah. get up the next day and I'll go to the gym before the next shift. That's the right mentality, and, and that's done. the way I've always been. But I think it's with an age thing with me now is like. I feel like now everyone goes, you're, you're, you're mad at the way you're doing all this this stuff. And I go, I feel like if I don't work twice as hard as everyone else, yeah. everyone will forget yeah. about me. Or, yeah. you know, they, they I get that. Yeah, they won't think. And it, I don't know whether it's, I, I'm quite, um, as I said before, I'm shy, but I'm, I'm a little bit insecure. And yeah. you wouldn't even think that to... No, because you're a massive online across, presence I, and stuff and all that. I don't, yeah. I don't come across like that, but... I have, I've always got that worry and that doubt. And I think it's mind. good to have that because it gives you the drive. But I always it think if I, stop, if I stop working out this much... I'll end up, I'll end up huge and I'll end up a couch potato and, yeah, you know, no, I get that. And sitting back listen, in the fridge again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what though? You're never too old. Like there was, a, I seen a picture, I think it was yesterday. This half fellow who's like 75 and decided to sort of get in shape. And like in two years, he's got like a six pack and everything now. And he was a big fat bastard before. And then I was like, fair play. Don't know why we didn't have a fucking heart attack. Like, but mm. fair play to him for fucking losing all that weight. Ridiculous. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I, I've been in the gym for a long, long time, but one of the lads in work a couple of years ago was like, get in the gym, lad, you need to get in the gym. I was like, yeah, sound going. On Thanks day well, on day one, he fucking pushed me. I need motivation and he pushed me and I was like, just need the bog, lad, and I disappeared and I fucking spewed everywhere. <laughs> spewed I probably gym whitey and I felt <laughs> bad. So I was on my hands and knees cleaning all the sick. When he come in, he was like, six in the morning, he's like, what are you doing, lad? And I was like, I feel sick. He's like, you little dickhead, sort your shit oh. out. So I was like, I'm going home. I'm going to work. Went home. Fucking cried. At least you admit it, because I, I mean, I have, I've never admitted it until now, but I have done the spewy thing before. You're, fucking, I've went you're pushing spewed. your body so far. It's, it's fucking And there was people deal, in the cubicles, so I had to spew in the sink. <laughs> and then I was like... <laughs> you should have just fucking threw it at them. I would have, in your hands, launched it over the cubicle. But yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's, it's rough sometimes, but... Um, it's worth it when... Listen, if you look you like that, it's fucking worth it. Nice do you know what I mean? Bet, nice you're out, sausage. bet your fucking house is full of mirrors in it. You're walking around in your fucking bills, lad, all day. You're like that flexing. I've got three, I've got three <laughs> in my living room and one, one in every room. I think, I think you should check yourself you for your back yourself. You know what I mean? Listen, like, my brother does it all the time. Like, he fixes his hair before I'm vain, bed. I'm a very, very person. And his bed goes, why the fuck are you fixing your hair? You go into bed and he goes, you don't know you're going to meet in your sleep. Do you know what I mean? She's like, you're oh another. Oh my God, that's such a good fixes one. Fixes his hair all the time. So, with your goals and stuff, was it? Purely weight based, or did you have any goals in terms of career and stuff? It was just weight based, and then um, 
And then uh, that's where that's where the followers started, you know, because I I I joined Instagram when it first when it first came out. Like yeah. I've had man since two thousand nine, I think, or really? two thousand and ten. Yeah, you're um, you <laughs> and, and, and I've had it, and I'd never really done anything with it. Blah blah blah. And then um, I remember I started doing weight loss pictures in two thousand and eighteen. I think if I'm not correct. And then I went from like six thousand followers because I obviously had that yeah, many yeah. years, like ten years then, to like. I think it was 12 or 13 within a couple of months and people were just like asking me questions and I was like, can I, can I even answer these questions? It's like, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like, it's like a microwave expert giving brain surgery advice, isn't it? It, it is. <laughs> I didn't want to give the wrong advice. So. Well, people love seeing a real life story rather mm-hmm. than just a professional saying, oh, this is what you need to do. They've seen your story, you develop mm-hmm. your changes in real life and that's why they're like, fucking hell, I can, you know, I can relate to that and that's why they're asking you for advice. Because they've seen it work. It's, it's nerve wracking as well, Lucent. Because like it, it, I, I love us. Obviously, I love attention. Um, <laughs> I do, but it's 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 like a double edged sword. Because sometimes you're like, am I saying the right thing here? Or I'll, I'll I'll sit there and look at a post for like four hours and think, is, is that the right thing to say or do? Sometimes it's just I don't. I just post it and then I get the backlash. But okay. sometimes, and then you've just got to be careful sometimes of how you portray yourself, especially because obviously I've got a, I've got a, I've got a job. Yeah. Um, and I'm a manager there, so I've got yeah. to, I've got to portray myself in a certain way, but still keep it real, but then not be a shitbag. So it, yeah, it's it's like tossing a load of balls and catching them, and you're trying to catch them in your mouth. The it's same it's difficult. I imagine. Balls. It's I mean, I mean, <laughs> I meant juggling. fucking onion bags everywhere. <laughs> you little dirt bag. Pass that wine again. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's. It's it's sort of it's it's a, as I said it's a double edged sword, yeah. but you've just got to move with it, haven't you? But yeah, it's it it's 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 a good thing, and and I'm glad I've done it in that way. And yeah. um, it was actually when we when my dad went, it was that that was when it pushed me. I was like, you know, you've just you've just got to do any anything I could to take my mind off yeah. it and sort of focus on something yeah. so, solid and concrete. That's what I was just doing. Well, that's a good thing though. It takes your mind off it, doesn't it? Mm. So your weight loss journey, it's fantastic. You're in unbelievable shape. So. Nice to see yourself there now in terms of your career then and managing the bars how did you get into that well i had a, i had a pub in welton called the breeze and um that was when i was um, pleasantly plump um, <laughs> and i i seen um as i say my dad got sick and i keep feeling like i'm going to have morbid and going back and forth that's yeah, all right, it's all right. We, we like fact don't we, we like fact <laughs> um and um so I was like, we're not going to carry the lease on because if he, my dad's just not going to do it or he might not be here, I'm not going to do it with, with the, the pub yeah. without him. Um, and my mom and blah, blah, blah. So Attachments, isn't it? Yeah. So. It's, it, and I mean, Walton was where, that's where I'm from. I'm originally from Walton. Ah, yeah. I'm now for it. I'm now for life. Oh, what a <laughs> Do you know what? I think, I think that's part I'm of I'm calling me. you a baggot uh, as a living tube, Luke. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> all the kids around here are born with fucking <laughs> asbos and scars. They're all rough as fuck, mate. I swear. No, but, yeah, no, but seriously, like, it, it's, so that was where I was from. And, and so I went on Facebook and, there was this advert saying ink bar and obviously I was full of tattoos. No, it was just like, it was like it was the first thing I seen. Yeah. So I went in, went in for the interview and they went, you don't have to do the interview, you got the job. Cause they had, obviously they knew I'd, I'd worked somewhere and then there was a guy there um, who I kind of knew and he was like, oh no, he's, 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 he's a good head, blah, blah, blah. And it went from there and I just fit in like a glove. And then yeah, within, yeah. within a year I was a part of the management team. Yeah. Within a year. And then, it was all history, but you know, it's not even if I keep going, it's a funny story. Like I did with the Spanish food thing before, it's not funny. The funny story is, um, <laughs> funny story, I went, I was there for six weeks, no, it, was, it was a bit longer than that, but then I went away for, a, for uh, on holiday. I was there six hours and I was in an accident, a really bad accident, and I was off work for three months, so I've got all metal in this leg. So, um, without going too funny much into, story, yeah. <laughs> into that hilarious story, uh, they kept me jumping for me and, um, ah, that says a they lot, helped me it? out and whatever I needed and then um, when my dad passed away they, they were there for me 100% yeah. and, and I've I've threw a couple of wobblers sometimes and you go oh, I don't want to be here I've, I've had enough you know when you're just being a brat you're fucking human don't and, and um, I'm still with them and I, I love them to pieces and they the, you the, mentioned you're like a family, family. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's so. solid like it's, it's, it's like the past five years it's always going to be a part of me now as well so uh, but it's yeah that, that, that's sort of that's the funny story. <laughs> you fucking more, that, you like? That's why I'm still there. You know, they, they, they seen something in me and, and, and I, and I've always seen something in the brand. And, yeah. Um, I don't know if you've seen something, we take the bottles out in a plane yeah. sometimes, packages. Uh, there's been some electric nights. Like when, when, um, I'll never forget, like, I don't really follow 40, but, um, my family supports Everton. And I, 
supporters. I don't support anyone. <laughs> but I'd rather see how Liverpool win because they're from this city yeah, yeah, than yeah, another yeah. team. But no yeah. one gets that. If yeah. they're a blue, they go, you're the shit, I should pick a side, lad. Um, <laughs> that's the way it is. But when Liverpool won that, was it 2018 or 19? Champions League in 2019. Oh my God. I've got all the hairs on me. I'm just standing up now. The, the atmosphere in England was euphoric. I'll have to send you the picture. Yeah. We took, I got red confetti in. And when when they won, oh my God. It, just I, everywhere. It's unreal, like, oh, oh my God. Like, Shivers yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Shivery, maybe it, shimmy. But it's fucking, um, when there's an experience like that and it brings back memories, exactly. it's unbelievable, isn't it? We've had Tony Bellew has been in the future. We've had like lo- loads of famous people come in, but like, we've Tony Bellew and he was, he was an absolute gentleman, by the way. But that's why I, um, I've just played footy with Tony when I was a kid as well but um and I didn't even know I was a boxer at the time I used to fucking fly into him thinking I was dead hard and then someone, like, someone said to me one day he'll fucking smash your head in and then he was like fighting Nathan cleverly the week after like and I was like Sam not tackling you again lad but the thing the thing is a lot of bars are just standard bars oh, fucking slaving fucking everywhere <laughs> a lot of bars are just standard bars and they yeah. don't do anything different and they don't stand out and they fucking open and close and fail mm. as you said inks a brand and that's why it's an all-head show dest- above everyone else. It became a destination for, like, for me. Like, I remember, it's like a tourist attraction, isn't it? People want to go. People want to pick exactly what Exactly what I've always said about it. Is I went to um, London on a night out and I went to Man- Manchester and people were saying to me, oh my God, don't you work on that ink? And I was like, and they were like, we follow in on Instagram. And I was like, that's key. Like, how would you? How, like, how far away? I mean, I, mean I am. I am unforgettable. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. but, no. That serious, fucking jawline, mate. You can't forget that, can you? <laughs> on a serious note, like, I, I couldn't believe how many people knew the place that I. And, and I was like, that's just like where I, I go yeah. to work. And then when I realised the enormity of the impact that it had, and, and it's it, and it's growing. Like, and most bars don't live past three years, and we're on five, and it's still so even like, with even with, with the, the past twelve lockdown. months. Well, oh my god! Like the last, no, the last, the last, what is six weeks? Maybe well, no, sorry, it was four December. Yeah, it was like even though we controlled it, we were within all, within all the COVID guidelines. Yeah. The 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 it was it was sold out every, every night. single night, every wow. week, and. And you know, and yeah, I was devastated just before we go off this subject. I was devastated. You know what I mean? Before we go off I'm this subject, on the subject of sound. <laughs> but we um, on New Year's Eve, like we had such a good thing planned, and we had a good thing planned for Halloween as well. Yeah. I, I was devastated about that. And my birthday is like two days after Halloween. I was devastated. Uh, but New Year's Eve, I just thought they could have gave us that. Um, it was fucking daft, uh, and it was what a day or two before when they just pulled day the plug. before, and we we so, so we decided that. within an hour we were going to open. We turned the venue around in an hour, opened it, and sold it out in forty five minutes. Wow! And that is the you know, MP, it that was, was a brilliant. Like, we done a last dance thing with all everyone had the all the girls had the masks on, and they were all away from each other dancing down the run doing this dance. They planned. I didn't even know they planned it. And you know what? Like, even watching that, you back, it, yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm, I'm an emotional person anyway. I'm, I'm very emotional. Well, I was gonna say, big girl. Ha- how's sort of lockdown? Well, three lockdowns now affected the industry. Like, obviously, it's so I do stand up, so I rely on bars and pubs and stuff being open so I can go and perform. So I've not been able to perform at all. But, like, it's the staff. You so, speak, have you just been performing for the missus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does she find you funny? No. <laughs> she won't watch, she won't watch anything. And she always says to me, I'm fucking funnier than you. And every time I have a guest, she fucking nails me all the time. She's fucking out of what. <laughs> Yeah, she has me kicked. You want to keep it? You want to keep it in the house? She's fucking no. Do you know what? Right? I'm not even keep getting it up the top. Do you ever need the house then? <laughs> Don't fucking say that. She wants a fourth kid, mate. She keeps badging me for a fourth. I've got, got three kids. You're saying she keeps badging me for a fourth. I'm like, don't fucking want one. Oh, you've got to because you can't have an odd number. I can. I don't want any more kids. Hey, you I don't, said yeah. The fucking ginger. They do me head in. I can't be dealing with them. Do you know what I mean? Oh. But uh, but she has me off all the time. But that's why we work because she's just me with a fucking yeah, she's vagina. Met her before. She's she, she's got a boss pen, the sense of humor. Like, but as I was saying, it's the staff mm. in all the sort of hospitality industry. That's that's what worries me because are they being furloughed? You know, is there enough? Because you see all the on the news, oh, they're giving the pubs and clubs mm-hmm. these grants and stuff, and it's not enough money to even fucking pay rent. So it's not. Are the company just hemorrhaging money. Like a lot of company are helping. You know, obviously we're we're furloughing. Um, and we're helping everyone we can. Even even some of the owners are helping them out of their yeah. own pockets, and that, that's another thing why I, I, I love them. But so um, much. but yet the um, I, I am worried about it in that way. I, I I feel like 
people are changing career and, and I, I that's why I done I done the march thing. Um I done quite a few of the protests. I don't know if I can save our city. I mean, can can, can they get can they can they do you for can no. they do you for that now? No, no chance. No. Um so I I, Listen, done, I done them and if then... they're gonna watch this, I'm in more <laughs> trouble than you from the fucking shit I say. So you sound, don't worry about it. But yeah, I um I I done I done this, a speech at the, at the St George's Hall, and it yeah. was one of the most nerve wracking things I've ever done. Yeah. By the way, because I've been on the stage for well, a while. since 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 the Mister Incredible thing. Really? <laughs> yeah, wow. that was the, a big. That was the last time I'd yet. Yeah, I think it was seven years, eight, seven eight years. But um, I, I I done the, the speech and I and I was like, you know, I'm I'm th- I'm at this point in my life, thirty thirty odd years age, or I can't I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, I think I don't think I did the same age because I was, I was being vain that day. Yeah, but um, I you was like, shouting out a fella beeping though. <laughs> you started beeping and you mid speech just went. Is he alright? Right? <laughs> you know who it was? It was your mate Prad. I just want to shout out to Prad. I like Prad. And he, I, I went, I, went, I was after, I was, I was, who's that fucking dickhead beeping? And then everyone was like, Craig, that, that was Prad, you know? I was like, nice one, Prad. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so, so I've done that and I was like, am I going to have to change my career this late in the game in, in my life? Yeah. And, and I don't, I didn't think I should have to. Like, you shouldn't. And, you know, without going into the big massive rabbit hole of it because I don't want to get egged and, yeah. you know, shot down by these people who think I'm, I'm chatting shit or my beliefs are shit, a, a load of shit. Yeah. I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not what everyone originally thought it was. And for, for what? The sake of, the sake of um, saving one life to then people have committed suicide and so so you so you're robbing Peter to pay Paul and, and that, yeah. that that that's my issue. It's like 100%. it's like, you know, now the flu's gone. Let all and the that, this, this, die, this, this is, I'm not even messing. Wait, <laughs> right? the fucking they've ruined the economy, they've all voted Brexit. They're all on the fucking lazies anyway. Kill all the al cunts and let the fucking economy survive. <laughs> but that's what so or tell them to stay in. For me, it's your stink of piss anyway. For me, for me, it should have been choice. Like, do you want to go out and risk it? I'd have been like, yeah. Because I've got, you know, I've got a good immune system. I never snuff it. That's my fault. Exactly. That's that's on me. And or, it, or that's on my family. We're going to pay for the funeral because I've got no health insurance. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. that, 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 that's I said that to my mum. I said to my mum, don't be sad. My mum was going out all the time. She was moaning. Oh, I'm vulnerable. And I was like, well, fucking stay in then. Because <laughs> you're walking to mum and wagon every single day and I'm not paying for your funeral when you fucking kick it. And I said this on the first ever episode. I had my brother on and I said, my mum's got a fake hip. <laughs> I said, if she kicks it, I'm taking her to the city dump. Like, she can go in the metal recycling. I'm not fucking paying for a funeral, mate. If she's going out and putting herself at risk and kicks it, she's fucking finished. She's going in the wheelie bin. Gary's nah. mum, I'm not laughing here. I'm, I'm on your side. <laughs> she yeah. listens as well. No, but, no, seriously, like, I, 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 that's, that's what my issue is now, is that now they're sort of admitting these same things in yeah. like little <clears throat> tiny texts, like the same size as like a micro penis yeah. <laughs> on anything they put out that, you know, it's not really that bad. Well then fucking open the doors yeah, everywhere. And exactly. If you're at risk, stay at home, <sighs> stay at home. I, I, we'll, we'll bring you some stuff. I'll, I'll... It's doing me. I didn't like, I'm at the point now where they just need to fucking open everything and get on with it. Cause like, I don't, as you say, you're not into sports, but the Super Bowl last weekend. Mm. I know well, I'm, in I'm into, bo- do you know what I'm into? You know, it's funny enough for a gay fella. I, I, you know, most gay lads are into footy because they like, they like looking at lads' legs. I'm into boxing because I like the violence. But there I don't, I'm rugby, but I don't like getting filled it. in. <laughs> he loves getting filled in. Choke me and all that. Who have you been speaking to? Who have you been speaking to? <laughs> no, um, but, um, yeah, that's that, that's where I'm at with it anyway, and you get hated for it and whatever. But I don't give a shit. The Super Bowl in America last weekend, they had fucking thousands of people in the crowd. In New Zealand, they've had music festivals and everything now. The Isle of Man's opened everything back. Have you seen, seen Poland? Like the, uh, uh, the, I can't. I don't know if that's the right country, but there's some countries and they've, they've just been like, nah. And then the governments have gone. But well, you know what? We can't control you all. Yeah. Then, then, but, exactly. and then there's another. There's another government. Who, um, who they've, they've sued. Sorry, another country have sued their own government, saying that lockdown is like barbaric and it's against human thingy. And they've won. And now they're laughing. They've got uh, no cases or nothing. It's mad. So I can't it? read things like that sometimes as well because then I start going. You get wound up. Why am I here? Yeah. Like, why? Why am yeah. I in this country? I'm not. Let's just fucking get up yeah. and move in it. I'm off. I'm going to the Isle of Man. Do you know the, yeah, with all the little fucking nonsy cats. We've got, got a paddle boat and we'll have to paddle <laughs> get, a, get a jet ski like that fella from Scotland. Remember him? The jet ski? Did, did, you, did you see it a few weeks no. back? There was a fella who uh, went from Scotland to the Isle of Man on a jet ski to see oh. his bird. He was working in the Isle of Man, met a bird over there, and then when they kicked him off the island, he come back on a jet ski <laughs> to go and get his end away. He planned it, said, I bet that would better have been a fucking good shag, that. <laughs> but yeah, well, he, but all that way, risking your life. He planned it, saying it was only about 40 minutes and took him four and a half hours. He was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't handle the rough sea. She must have had to get on top when he got there. <laughs> oh, mate, there. that's nasty. <laughs> so, do you think, do you think when all this shit's fucking done, do you think the industry's going to, you know, recover 
you think everyone's going to go, do you know what, fuck it, we've missed a night out and all barely? Or do you think people are going to panic and be a bit reserved? Honestly, that, that, if you'd have asked me, like, um, if you'd have asked me after the first lockdown, I'd have gone, do you know what, I haven't got a clue, you know. Yeah. Now, the more people I'm speaking to who, 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 originally, who were originally all four, no, we've got to yeah. keep, keep it two metres, keep it arm's length, two metres length. And I'm like, sound, I don't like it anyway. But no, some of them <laughs> now, some things. of them now have, <laughs> have now crossed over on, after the test Massively, seconds. yeah. And now, the, so I think if we get to a point where we're open and then they start trying to do it again, people are just going to go half to half. The thing is, it, at the beginning, it was the unknown. No one knew what was happening. It was this, ah, oh, this killer the virus. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But it's this killer virus that's killing everyone. And then Liverpool got hit, hit hard. Nearly fucking everyone had it. And they're like, I'm sound. I'm not going to oh. fucking die. It's just a fucking bit of a cold. You know and what then, I mean? And then, do you know what, you know what like, annoyed me about the whole mass testing thing? The numbers are going up. Yeah, because you're telling people to mass test. Yeah. And then, and then where's the flu gone? And that's the last rabbit hole I'm going to delve in, by the way, because I'm going to sound like a psychopath. Well, where's the flu gone? Exactly. After a hundred odd years, it's just disappeared. Now it's just misdiagnosis now. And I just, I don't know what the end game is, but hopefully we all come out of it. They're just Smell fucking hiding roses. nonsense. That's what they're doing. That's odd. <laughs> Look at him. Is that Stop. working? Oh, it's yeah, going over yeah, Hey, have you got like a way into my phone there? Like, <laughs> the things I research? Fucking Epstein Island there, mate. Yeah. They're hiding all these I, I, I think everything's corrupt at the minute. So yeah. I'm probably the worst person to ask. About anything like that, because I, I just sound like a, a conspiracy theorist, which I'm not. It's sound. I love reading more myself as fucking boss. I spend hours like I wake up in the middle of the night and I get my phone out and I'm just fucking reading all mad conspiracies. And she goes, "Get the fuck off your phone, lad!" I'm like, "I can't." My favorite it. thing is space cakes and Google. <laughs> Oh no, it's not Google anymore because he sent everything. But I'll, I'll always go through someone. I won't name them, but um, <laughs> it's a good friend, and he, he always sends me the best stuff on, um, like the Instagram pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that you can't find them by searching them because they censor because they're yeah. telling the truth. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I always uh, space cakes and I go through <laughs> them for hours, and then I'm like, I'm like, I'm the most knowledgeable person ever. Obviously, the next day I can't remember, really remember much, but uh, it is what it is. What can you do? Well, when you were talking then about you know why can you do certain things and it's fucking ridiculous and all that. I want to touch on what happened the other night. Ah, prophecy. Like, that's fucking horrendous. And that's not even the first time it's happened. He's been getting absolutely badgered and pestered by the police for some time now, hasn't he? Yes, like, yeah. My brother goes to the gym quite regularly and um, he said, like, you know, we've had to stay inside because the police are all outside and they're pestering them. And then there was an occasion when his alarms went off and he went to check it and the police were giving him grief outside and all that. And I was like, why the fuck? Just leave the poor man alone. And then, you know, he, he's, he's supporting people with mm. mental and physical health. You know, people are locked up, going fucking mad. Exactly. As you said, the suicide rates are going through the roof. Mm. He's being there to provide people a service to sort of help them. And then the amount of police who turned up, like that, it's fucking disgusting. Because you've been putting loads of stories up about haven't you? Giving them yeah, support and, and all that. I'm, I'm just going to say a bit about prophecy. Like, so after the, after the first... Um, <laughs> Plandemic lockdown, whatever you want to call <laughs> Plandemic. it. Plandemic. <laughs> Did you like that one? Scamdemic I was going to go with. But, nice play on words. But um, my mouth's dry because I need to stop my wine up. No, I'm joking. So, stop no, up. Um, stop up. Yeah, I will. I will. I, I, I want to do I want to get this out the way first because I want to have it. Um, so, so prophecy. So after I'd done the marches um, and the, you know, for the Save Our City and yes. stuff. Uh, I still didn't have a gym because it wasn't, the you know, but the, 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 the yeah. legalities hadn't changed yeah. then. Um so you could still go to Mackey's and be a fat cunt, but you couldn't go to the gym. Exactly. It's fucking Obviously, bad, I've got, I mean, everything like this country's backwards, but. Right. So Nathan was like, you can come here. And so I went there and I went with Holly, um, little sidekick. Uh, <laughs> and um, she doesn't like the limelight, darling. <laughs> no, but, um, so we went with, with her and she's, She's not as very forthcoming as me, but it's, and sometimes I'm just, I, I pretend I'm brash, but really I'm like a bit nervous. Like went in there and from the first get the get-go, it just made us feel at home. Like I've probably came on leaps and bounds body-wise and, and just from being there from November. So yeah. I went there in November um, and I honestly think that if, if he wouldn't have let me go there, I don't know what my headspace would have been like because after the first lockdown, I said, if we go into another one, I don't think I can do that again. And I'm really strong-minded. Yeah. I had some dark, dark days on the first lockdown and it was, and it was bad. So for Nathan to do that for, for me and, um, and Holly and, and One countless other people, people yeah. before, before the, before the third, third lockdown. ludicrous yeah. lockdown, whatever we want to call it. Um, for him to do that for us was, 
for me, it was just, he felt amazing. He ends up having a staff night out, I think, yeah. after a couple oh, of wow. weeks, um, their Christmas night out. And it, 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 we just, I just fell in love with all of them, the staff, the, um, the lads on the desk, there's Mason and Adam and, 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 and Jack's there. They're all, they're all good people. But, yeah. um, so for him to go through that, what he went through the other night, to, and did you see what the, did you see what the Echo put up? Sorry, I, I can, can, no, can no. I name them? You can I, name them. I, I can name what you want. We can do whatever we like. Do what you like. Um, they said, uh, what was it? Um, it appears, it appears that he's being attacked and then, like, it appears? no, we're, no we're, we're like alleged. And I'm like, oh, you weren't saying alleged when, when the, you said he had someone captive in there. Oh, you, do you know what I mean? So so like, that's CCTV why isn't fucking alleged. So I was watching it the other Who day. Who gets to like, so like, The door's open. Oh. Everyone starts running out. One lad does not run. He walks, get gets swatted with the baton. Then, the camera doesn't lie. Exactly. Have you seen the fellow who's broken his leg now as well? There's someone who's got fucking pins and everything in his leg. It's broken. And then the video when it's it's Nathan, they've got hold of him. He's handcuffed. He's got his legs. One strapped. runs over and knees him. Yeah, there's like that? eight of them hold, holding him. Disgusting. Then one runs, knees him, drops him to the floor. They all start kneeing him, kicking him and everything. They disperse two full cans of fucking CS gas pepper spray or whatever on him. Tased and tased him in his in neck. neck. And it's... It took appeared, them, all, took, took appeared, them all to get him down though, didn't they? Mate, he would fucking <laughs> smash all the heads in. Uh, but he wasn't even resistant. That, that exactly. So, he were fighting back. So I see. So I seen on that on that um, the story, the first one they put up um, about it afterwards, saying um, the gym owner is. Sorry, I might be unc- might be quoting myself wrong here, but anyway, it's only the echo. Um, he said the gym owner appears to be blah 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 whatever they said and I was like appears to be the video you can see the video oh, clearly mate. and then it's been took down it's been two of them have been took down then one of them is um, where it says sensitive information do you want to see it um, uh, do you know what I mean I'm just waiting for it to be a fact finder one yeah. now because that's the usual one yeah, isn't it exactly it's fucking incorrect it, fact uh, it, does, it proper does me tits in because it's out of order what he's doing for the people in the community is unbelievable and then he's got to go through that ordeal he's got to get fucking filled in get arrested because one Persons complain saying they were being held against the will. He's now being supposedly charged with forty-five counts. I think that was a setup counts. as well, by yeah. the way. You know, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. Why would you want to go outside and get a, a, up to a, up to eight hundred pound fine when you know the pussies are outside? Why exactly. would you want to do that unless even you've been if you said you're being it? you know held against your own will, you're still liable to pay that fine because you've gone to the gym. So uh, it's an inside exactly. job, hundred percent. Exactly. So he's apparently being charged with forty-five counts of kidnapping, which is fucking stupid, right? This is what they're saying. Fuck. But then he's come out and said, anyone who's been arrested and got a fine, I'm gonna, I'll I'm pay you fine. But well, he's, he's been, in, he's been in, I spoke to him before, uh, he's been in court today over it, and he's just went in and handled it like a man. And do, do, do you know why, do you know why he got arrested? He was trying to stop someone from getting hit by the police. That was, that was why That's it happened. Why. If, oh, if, if my facts are correct, which I think they are. Oh. Um, he was trying to defend the people from the gym and, um, that's what you got. Well, he put a video up last night, didn't he, <laughs> saying, uh, he, he's going to be open on Thursday and he wants everyone to come up there and all stand as one and unite and fucking, I can't wait, mate. It's, 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 it's mm. doing me, it makes me proper angry, proper angry. No, well, this is going to get aired afterwards, so I'll just say it now. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to go because um, I'm going to go and show me face and Good. support Good. him. Good. I, I, I wouldn't be able to, um, I've, well, as I said, you know, I probably, I don't know how I'd survive the, yeah. the second lockdown and then this one. And if you're saying that, how many other people are saying that? <laughs> exactly. It's helped everyone. I, I don't know where I'd be. I, my, my head would fall off, like, and I'm quite strong-minded, but that the gym has changed me, my health, my life, and and, and he, helped, he helped me when no one, no other gym was open for the yeah, past, what, two, exactly. three months, so. Well, you, can get, get a, you can get a big mark. It's mad. Oh, yeah. It's fucking mad. I mean. Listen, if if them charges stand, I reckon it's going to be murder in the city. There is going to be. And I, I, I don't think, I think now, I think this is, I, like touch wood go on just bang the table it sounds just bang the table <laughs> um, I I think they I think they know that they can't do it with the lockdown yeah. now because people know. people are now are now of they've, even they've the people who were, who were patient before they've now had enough so I, I'm open that this is this is the end to this um, insanity yeah uh, it's, it's gotta be it's got to be it's fucking stupid absolutely stupid right do you want to top your drink up for the next section go on then sausage. we're going to test you oh. what's this round called so the next one's called Everyone Has Their Price. Right? Oh. I'm going to throw some questions your way. I'm going to test your greed. Okay. I'm going to give you some horrible... I'm going to seductive that was then. Deep throat the, 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 the bottle. Right now. <laughs> no, no. I will. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you some horrible scenarios and see what you're willing to do for a payout. You ready? Hit me. It's time for Everyone <laughs> 
Who recorded these jingles, by the way? <laughs> I, paid, I say this all the time, right? I paid £5 for that off the website, Fiverr. Oh, uh. Some kids from Canada. I just told them what my lyrics were, how long I wanted it to be, and he sent me back in about 30 hours. It was fucking sound. Sure. Sound efficient. Because yeah, I, I could imagine it never doubt the one. The sex lottery. <laughs> you know, that, that type of one. I, I'd love that. <laughs> just record jingles in the house all the time. <laughs> right. Okay. So we were talking about smackheads in town before, uh, and you were name dropping some smackheads. So when you're working in town quite a lot, you might be, you know, uh, <laughs> you I'm might be shuddered. aware of the old baghead, Banjo Bob, the old fellow who had the, the little uh, cardboard guitar and he used to sit there playing it all the time. I've Remember him? Yeah, yeah, I've got a story about him. Okay. Right, well, let me give you this first, yeah. then you can tell me the story. Okay. 500 grand on the table, right? A lot of money, half a mil. You've got to collect all the smeg from around his pipe for a month <laughs> and use it to brush your teeth every day for a week. Half a mil. I'd, I'd rather be using his banjo singing. I'm sorry. I'd, I'm sorry. I couldn't. I could do that. You can just. I can smell the warmth. Ugh. That was a story. I was going to tell but you. But imagine, like, one time you've got to brush your teeth, your tongue, and everything like that. Go on. What's your what story? What the fuck is wrong with you? What what you think on, what's your story? That was. You give him a chance. No. Look at his baby no, belt. No. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Now I walked past him one day, and I was walking down. I, I was eating like a. a, a I was going to say a protein bar, then I'm lying. It was like a packet of crisps, wasn't it? <laughs> it was on over. And um, I walked past him and he just turned around. He was like doing his little ukulele husky <laughs> song yeah. thing. And he just turned around and went spat right in front of me. Oh, and I went, I nearly ralphed it. <laughs> nearly ralphed the whole, the whole thing. I can't. But, no. Uh, you must think. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I can't even drink that now. So you can't do that then? Sound, oh, I'll move no, on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> right do you know what I've been, even though these are horrible I've been kind in terms of the price I'm normally going in with like under grand you're flying here so for a mil right you've got <laughs> again I don't know where these come from I'll have a sip of this before you say something disgusting <laughs> I should say it mid sip no joke <laughs> for a million pound you've got to dig up the dead body of Margaret Thatcher and you've got to fuck her in front of your family you're doing it <laughs> All the decomposed, hairy arsehole and everything all nasty. I was with you until until the family thing. You can't just do it on your own. You've got to go through fucking an ordeal. Everyone's watching you. Is there anything left? Is it just bones? What's going on? Well, oh, no, I can't even say that. Oh, yeah, I can't, can't I? Well, I'm normally at the bottom anyway, so I'll just let it fuck me. And then here we go. I've got the mill. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> See you, wait. That one, didn't I? You're the here we go. What is it? You're the post box, are you? Uh, I, t- Whatever it is. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sound, you're flying there. You're in the middle now. <laughs> one. Next one. Again, nasty. 750 grand, right? One. You've got to get a Gillette razor. You've got to run it across your sword sideways, right? Then fill your hands with hand sanitizer and have a wank for five minutes. I'll give you the mill back, it sounds. Don't worry. I'll give you the previous mill back. I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh. Imagine the fucking pain. Uh, I know what it's like just my wearing my just closed <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't know what that feeling feels like joke <laughs> you know what I mean I've been wearing cum yeah. bubbles everywhere <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been, been cutting like through in, in work and you know when you touch lime on a cut that's oh, bad enough mate. so there's no way that I could even consider I'm doing anything proper, like, to the little man downstairs if the, nah. if the finger is like that no way no way uh, sorry right no We'll go big or go home. Last one. <laughs> right. Lockdown's lifted. Okay. The grand reopening at Inc. Right. Okay. Fucking, it's flying. It's okay. booming. Everyone's there. You're proper on top of the world. All the girls in the club who were on, I've got to fill a jug <laughs> full of period <laughs> blood, right? And for one million pounds, you've got to down it, stood on the bar in front of everyone. <laughs> it just smells like pennies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all the all the picture is this like crimson river. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what's, you know what's funny? People look at me and they like, <laughs> no, no, no I'm, I'm not that. No, I'd rather be skinned. I'll pass on that one. I'll pass on any bodily fluids. I'm not good with that. You're quite respectable there because you've said no to them all. Ink must pay you fucking well, lad. <laughs> and I want them to keep paying me. Maybe that's why I keep saying no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we had a laugh right so Craig 
what does the future have in store for you? It can be it can be personal, it can be work related, it can be a hobby. You want to learn to play the fucking ukulele, anything. I want to learn to play that little smackheads. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, Playing smackheads banjos, no context there at all. Oh. <laughs> There's cheese everywhere. <laughs> You are wrong. <laughs> but we moved it. We, we moved. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to carry on working on myself because do you know, do you know, what, do you know what's funny? There's like, there's like a, obviously there's a perception of people and or oh, yourself and what people think of you on, on social media and stuff. And I just try and make the best of every shitty situation or if the picture looks good, I'll post it or whatever yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And, and people, people like go, oh, I always thought you were like, you know, I thought you've got your full shit together. Look at you, man. I'm like, I fucking haven't. Some days I don't know what I'm doing from the next uh, emotionally yeah. or whatever. So yeah. for me, it's, I'm probably just going to carry on trying to work on myself. Cool. I, like keep looking good. And but that's what makes you more real though. I know, but some people don't think I'm like that because sometimes, obviously, sometimes you look like a snotty twat. Some people, yeah. I mean, you don't. You you actually look that friendly. I oh, nice I look like a cunt. It's a nice way you say it. <laughs> you little fat ginger like a... <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say it like that. But, no, no, no. Um, but I I think sometimes you can come across a certain way when you're not like that at all. And, I, and Do you know what, though, right? And it's annoying. I totally agree. And I get you because I'm not saying I thought you were arrogant or anything, but when I first messaged you, I thought... He's is got he a massive following. Is he just going to be like, who the fuck's this dickhead? And you were so open arms and welcoming. And I was like, do you know what? Fucking fair play. He's boss. Oh, thank you for saying that. Because not many people know that about me. They just see, because sometimes I'm very straightforward and, yeah. and people don't like that. Yeah. Still in this day and age, people don't like it. And I, I love it though. There's no gray areas. It's just fucking, you know, black except and white. In me, except I've got some greys in me here. I've got some greys there. The light in the ears, picking up on them, just shining. I, 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 I'm 35. I, I can't hide from them much longer. And I, I wouldn't die in here. So, but, um, yeah, I just I just feel like that I want to carry on working on myself and and um, if I can help a positive message on the way, like with what I was trying to do for save save the city last year yeah. and um, with anything to do with Nathan or anything to do with anyone's health or mental health and um, I, I'd always jump on things like that and yeah. do you know, that's another thing you know when you you know when you jump on things like that people go oh he's just jumping off the sake of it no do you think I've got any time do you think I've got time to do that exactly if, if, if I didn't give a shit about busy, it man. how many projects are you working on and stuff and you know a couple of them I'm working on a few but that, yeah that's so that's another thing I've got a couple of projects I'm working on and and you're still finding time to and jump I, on these things so fair play and, I love, and you you've broke me podcast virginity and um, <laughs> you know <laughs> Is we, right? we got off to a slow start but you got a good end um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, boy always remembers his first time. But <laughs> um, no, that that that's what I, I just want to keep progressing. I'm, I always look at it this way: like I'm 35 now, and I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably just gonna have to work hard for these next five years to have something to fall back on. Yeah, and that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I'm probably gonna extend the five year plan to an eight year one, mm-hmm. and just continue to build and Good. see where I can go and where I can. Should get never from. be satisfied. You know what I mean? You've got to keep growing. So I know. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Well, if you got well, yeah, now it's, I'm, it's my turn to ask <laughs> the question. You but, to me, uh, yeah, it's my turn now. Um, but what, what have you got planned? What do you want to do? I want I want to grow this as much as possible. So mm. I I was talking about it the other day. Since I was a kid, I've always had like this little dream of being like a radio presenter. I've got a face for radio, not the fucking telly. And uh, <laughs> the way life's led me down a path, it it's not happened. You know, I've I've had children and I've had to provide. So. I went down the route I am now and I'm, I'm a manufacturing engineer and it pays the bills and mm. I, I can't afford to just go pull the plug on that, let's start fresh, go through sort of college, uni, do media or anything. So I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And then I was toying with the idea of a podcast for a while. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to do it in my dining room, you know, get my mates on it to laugh. And it's grown quite quickly. No, like is, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback and I, guests and listeners are, you know, messaging me saying, you know, it's really professional. I can see, you know, being a presenter on some form of radio station at some point. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to run with it and see how far it takes me. No, so. I, I think it's better. I've listened to a few and it's quite good. And, and, and honestly, you, your voice and I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a proper proud Scouser. I love anything, <laughs> anything to do with Scouse. And the more Scouse you are, the more I love the you. Better. <laughs> yeah. And it, 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 you know, who's one of my favourite people is the Darren Till. He just doesn't give oh, a shit what he says. And I've met asked. him a few times and he's been in ink and, you know, yeah, when he's, he's not being chained. And, and I've had, had a couple of pictures with him and I spoke to him, I spoke to him like, out of ink as well, and he's, he's, he's such a he's such a genuine guy, but he doesn't yeah. give a shit. But he says, and t- Tony Bellew's the same. Yeah. There's a couple of them on that 
that level of fame yeah. and they're just still scousers. So I'm big on the whole scouse thing. And yeah. when I listen to your podcast, back to ugh, what went around the world, <laughs> we got there. We sound, got there. It's sound. Um, we got there. We got, got back there. But yeah, it's uh, you, you've got like such a good charismatic voice to listen to. And, and I've, ne- I've never really like, delved into that many podcasts, but I listened to it and I was crying laughing. And he screws up with the fucking smack head thing. But, um, <laughs> some of them are so good. But I feel I feel the, the same way as you. Like the, the, you, you sort of you get to a point in your life and you're like it hasn't worked for me this up till now. And, yeah. Um. Honest to God, like it, it, there's. I mean, we spoke privately as well, yeah. but I've had so many hurdles hit me like with, across my life, and I've just bounced back. And yeah. um, I think that's that's what you've got to do. Like the way you you've said, you, you've, you've got a job. Love, yeah. Do do your job, and you know, even if you're tired, like like do what you're doing now. Look yeah. look, look at what you've look at what you've achieved yeah. in a small amount of time. And that's what I've that's what I've sort of I've sort of always been an advocate for. Like I want I want this, but I can only do that. But well, why can't I do both? Yeah, exactly. And I've made that, honestly, I've made so many personal comeback myself. I have thought, oh, fuck, I'm finished here. Like, oh, there's, no, there's no way I can think it. And then, and then I got into ink and then there's just, you know, there's yeah. so many things. And I think, I think perseverance is the key, but this, this, this is, this is a good little podcast. I'm excited <laughs> to see. Thank you I very much. to the end of it. Fucking promote it then, lit. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I will. Don't worry, I'm Is there anything you want to plug, socials or anything? Um, just follow me if you want to, if you're fucking already down, he's got that many. He's out of Lenny, look at him. But anyway, um, but I think that's funny because half the people who hate you share your stuff to people, yeah. and the more they share it, the, the more, more the more, the more, um, the more that the more engagement you get. And I'm like, Tons of I'm like carry on sharing. You do me favors. Do me a favor. Sound. Keep slagging me off. It's fucking sad. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> Now, now I, I think I think it's good. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm glad you had me on. And um, yeah, just if if you could keep an eye on Zen and. In prophecy and any any anyone any yeah. of the any of the Instagrams I've mentioned uh, any of the places I've mentioned it'd be great. Down and when everything's fucking lifted, get everyone get out. It'll be a fucking good night. Won't oh, it? I need to night out with you definitely. Hundred percent. Sound happy days. Yeah, right, listen, awesome. it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Nice one, sausage.